Praise the Lord. I welcome everyone of us once again to today's service. You see how mighty it is. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, our blessing, we shall not miss in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate everyone of us for the way we are doing the evangelism. Apart from our sister that joined us today, we have been seeing two people that is very, very, uh, they have been joining us on Monday too. That's a uh, uh, brother, what is brother Jimmy and then Diane, sister Diane. And then I pray that God will continue to help us as the church is growing in Jesus' name. Uh, before we leave, I have some things to to pass to us. I know because of our nature, uh, my wife is very busy with the school. I know the situation of uh, Mommy and Grisha, and uh, I so respect every one of us, Sister Lisa, uh, especially we women. But I want us to be looking at whatever we can do to the church. Our sister is not so concerned you today. <laughs> so, but the, to the church, uh, the, sometime I come to the church, I feel embarrassed that things are not supposed to be the way I want it to be. And don't forget, uh, Saturday, I always be busy. Like yesterday, we, the pastor, we need to watch the program. When you look at our YouTube, there's a lot of things that we did it so sometimes i come in i feel embarrassed and then the children they can't do more than what they are doing so uh, i will still continue to need, as, need assistance uh, i still prefer maybe the last saturday of the month i know the nature of mommy gracia and i always uh, respect her respect her opinion respect her decision uh, God will continue to help you in Jesus' name. And Almighty God will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. But please, let us see uh, Pastor Dalakna may be coming any day. Uh, and then he has promised to come, but because a lot of things, he decided that he's going to wait. So please, let us have it in mind. Maybe if it is once in a month, or if we need to be employing people, I don't know how much they are, they are collecting per hour. If just the basement, they can be helping us to clean in a month. That one will be okay. Mommy Grisha, please help me to take care of that side. God will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, Bible study have been so good, and I know everybody's situation, but any one of us that can come into Bible study, you can see uh, Sabe, the last day. You see the new member we are having. Uh, one thing that's always happened in our church is that when the new member are coming, the old member will not there. So it will be like, I know your situation, Mami Gracia, I'm just talking in, in general, not uh, individually. So now, the new member will now be looking at, ah, is this the church? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But if they, they continue to meet us, they will be encouraged. We too, we are going to be encouraging them. God is going to strengthen us in Jesus' name. And for my old mommy, I'm praying for you. You will see a very good house by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ that will not be stressful for you in Jesus' name. And God is going to answer our prayer in the house in the name of Jesus Christ. I know what it takes to be going up, going down. But I want you to know it's my concern. And I, am, I know God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. You can see the program that is going on. I'll be sending it to us. The program will continue today. So, Pastor Dada sent message yesterday that we should continue to listen to that message. Uh, so, if we cannot do the house fellowship just because of the program, that's okay. Uh, we are still going to listen to it um, uh, tomorrow. So, many of us that can come into Bible study, let me know. Uh, God will help us in Jesus' name. So, but today, they will still continue. I don't know if they have started now. Oh, it's, not, it's 12. It will be around 1 or something, but maybe around 12. But as I'm sending it, I will be sending it to us so that we can watch it in our YouTube. So, because of that, we may not do the house fellowship today. I think that okay. Okay. So, God will continue to help us 
in Jesus name uh, and then for our mommy that just came today I want to you see this is the list of the, our church just in Washington DC North, we are the divided United States into four. We are in the mid, mid uh, Atlantic Ocean. So, for just mid Atlantic Ocean, which we belong, not other place like uh, uh, Minnesota, like Ohio, like uh, Philadelphia, they are not here. But just our own. So, this is the list of the church. Uh, you will help, help me give it all. So in case they, you have somebody that asks you that, which church are you going? You get what I'm saying? As I told us, for many of us that watch the program, you see the congregation. That congregation can now occupy this. And we, it, it's for you. Uh, yeah, it's for you. Mm. It's for you. So uh, the congregation can but to let you know that you have a bigger church. It's just because of the place we are. And the Bible let me know upon you I we build this church so upon every one of us God is going to build the church in Jesus name I appreciate it but the metric it has been with us now more than five years Sabi has been with us more than uh, almost the same time due to evangelism through my wife Sister Sabi has been with us due to evangelism through my wife so uh God will continue to be with us. If we don't, if we commit, we don't leave, the church will continue to grow. So if anybody asks, if it is home church, they want to list, they, they, we can explain, yes, it's a home church. If it is a bigger church, let them know. It's a bigger church. We are just a branch. We are just a very uh, a branch. But we thank God for what God has been doing through our heart. Yesterday, we become 14,500 people on YouTube. Uh, uh, in our region, if I'm not mistaken, I think we are the largest on the subscriber on the on the YouTube. So in the whole, apart from the church, I think we are the third. So God will continue to help us in Jesus' name and the grace. And then, okay. okay. And then I've been telling us anytime we want to go somewhere, please. And then you don't have car, I know everything. It is my responsibility that everybody is okay. Uh, let me know, just let me know. I hate like you want to go somewhere tomorrow. Let me know today that you want to go somewhere tomorrow. It is very difficult if you say, Ah, Pastor Matthew, come and pick me now, 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 now. It's only difficult for me because I, I too I have a lot of program like today now uh i will be busy till around three o'clock midnight program of all program program of all program so the same thing on monday i uh, will be busy till our own tea i drop people up and i come back i will continue to be busy so so it's better you tell me that oh tomorrow i want you to Come, uh, I want to do something. I want to do something. And many times, if my explanation, my response is not so okay with any one of us, do not forget I'm still your child. You get what I'm saying? I'm still your child. It's by the grace of the Lord, you have faith in me and you put me here. I want you to be continue to agree that oh, a little mouth shall not. We continue to behave like a little man. Uh, so, and then by the time you uh, you look at how I present it, you look at your own side, uh, sometimes you may put me in a very positive way that, oh, maybe I cannot do more than that. But please, do not count it against me. I cannot uh, act more than more what I know. And then the more I'm knowing, the more I'm learning. So, please, I want you to to continue to help me in mind, pray for me, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to help me with the task in Jesus' name. I want you to know that uh, it's not, you we may see our church that is, uh, we, we are maybe in this number, many times I receive call from many states that the call will just be too much. Like yesterday from Nigeria, somebody was just calling me, let us continue to pray for 
plateau. That's another state in Nigeria. Apart from someone, yeah, huh, apart from somebody that is calling me from Nigeria, he said that let us continue to pray for Nigeria. Another person was coming from calling me from another state. So sometimes the load it is a little bit higher than what you are thinking. But I'm thanking God uh, with your prayer by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. God will continue to uh, elevate us in Jesus' name. Uh, you women, I believe that kitchen belongs unto you. You get what I'm saying? Uh, for us men, if every one of us is going to the, uh, to the food, we may not have enough respect for where the area of our food is. So I've been encouraging all of you women, we men, we will leave the kitchen for you. Please, anytime, let uh, any one of us, even you see me, if I want to take anything, or Brad Dimitrik, or Sabi, or my son, I'll be encouraging them that they should try to get in touch with you, women, because kitchen belongs to women naturally. And then uh, we will continue to do that and God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. How many of us have been fascinated? Okay. Okay. How many of us? Okay. I know Sister Lisa too have been fascinated. I too have been fascinated. Uh, if you have not done it, uh, Pastor, that I still talk to about it about last week, that whosoever that have not been fascinated, let us try to do so. In fact, before he decided to take that decision, he asked to bring an expert to the church. I can try to bring part of it. I know that along the line, many people dispute it uh, because I'm in the health care. Uh, naturally, I took it. But later, you know, there's some. In fact, there was one person that's supposed to be coming to the church because of that. Uh, he said, This, 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 this you know. Uh, but later, when Pastor Dada see the way it was going, he brought an expert to the church to educate every one of us the importance of the fascination. So I'm encouraging every one of us now. I think it is free now at uh, Fashion Square. So if we have not been, yeah, if we have not been fascinated, let us do it. And then I appreciate every one of us as we are using masks. Uh, do not think I'm not using it. I have about more than six feet to every one of us. And when we are close, I know that I'm safe. And the person that was with me too is saved. So let us continue to use our mask and God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. Uh, the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for us in Jesus' name. As I told us, many of us, we, are, we have heard about Pastor Dada. We have not seen him. He always bothered about us. So sometimes, I know uh, you may see me, as I told us, because I'm saying it because of our, our new sister, that in case you see me taking pictures, explain to the church of time, just to let him know that church in Charlotte is growing. The mighty hand of the Lord is be with us, not for any other thing, but just to appreciate what God is doing in our life. And God will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. The grace of the Lord will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Once again, I want to appreciate every one of you. If you are not here, my presence here is in vain. It is because you are here, I'm proud of it. We can broker this to the world. We can say, what well, this is what we are doing in Charlotte. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, God will continue to reward you abundantly in Jesus' name. Your labor of love will not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, God that see you in secret will reward you openly in Jesus' name. Uh, do not think that uh, no person see me. Look at this mighty message. Let's say you are in bigger, uh, maybe we are in Lagos or we are in Enugu while they are doing the program. We may not even have enough opportunity to listen to it like this. So you are not in small church. You are part of bigger church. Uh, in my language, they say, we are ever God want you to be. When it be really bad, then you see, it be language that we are ever God want you to be, is where he will let you be. Uh, he may take you to Enugu, take you to Nigeria, he may even take you before Pastor Kumui, 
But he wants you to be here. That's where you are here. So the grace of the Lord will continue to be with everyone of us in Jesus' name. Let's open our Bible to the book of Proverbs. Before then, uh, before our our sister leave, it will help me free the visitor notebook. My dear brother, it will help me free, even if it's just your name and the phone number, uh, you can put your address in case you need me or you want me to come and take you, you can put your address for that. Uh, I will be getting in touch with Mommy Gracia. Mommy Gracia, thank you. Your labor of love will not be in vain in Jesus' name. Uh, I will still do something I've been doing. Uh, or Please give everybody to I don't mind if you have one packet of this inf- uh, card at home, sit down. Uh, at long run, but give them two, two. So let us continue to use it to invite people. Conti- you, the only person that does not use it, that keep me in your bag. I'm not supporting that, but continue to keep it there. When your bag full and then the bag here yeah, into pieces because of the card, you will know. So it's better you are using it to invite people. So God will help us in Jesus' name. Let's open our book, the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3. The book of Proverbs. Chapter 3. We children, we too, we should have it so that we use it to invite our friend. We use it to invite her. Okay. But do not forget that I think there was a time I can we wanted to do it in school. You can put it in his Bible. I can't you have to take it whenever you go out. Most of all that we have workers, especially our Monday Bible study outline, we can give it to them. You give it to your workers that this is the church I'm going. It's very, very interesting. And then when we go to our clubhouse, let us give it to them. And God will help us in Jesus' name. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3. Proverbs is before David. I mean, it's after David. Uh, it was written by King Solomon. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, 9 to 10. Proverbs, chapter 3. Nine, Honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruit of all your increase. So, so shall your barn be filled with plenty, and your presses shall burst out with new wine. Let's bring our tithe and offering. Let us be remain seated. Let's bring our tithe and offering. Let us close our eyes. Do not forget, your left hand, right, your left hand must not know what your right hand is doing. So you don't need to look at any person, either they bring their title and offering. But meanwhile, all of us, we must know that it's, it is obligation. It is comp- a compulsory commandment from Almighty God that you should bring one tenth of your income. Do not hide it. Do not le- do not play negligence. Uh, the more you give to Almighty God, the more the God is going to be rewarding you. The more He's going to take away illness, the more He's going to take away sickness, the more the grace of the Lord will continue to be. So do not think that people do not see you. Almighty God see you. And I pray that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will reward us abundantly in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of today. We thank you, Lord, because of everything you have been doing in our church. We thank you, Lord, because you are op- opening a new chapter for us. Oh, mighty Father, set our thanks in Jesus' name. Out of what I have given to us, we bring this token. Let it be acceptable before you in Jesus' name. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, do not forget, I'm still considering our study the scripture before we start the program. Uh, there's something I said that I've been escaping my mind, that in the last week of the month, we are going to be watching drama, Christian drama, 
uh, my son too maybe because uh, it's true we have not been talking about it but the best thing we can do is to be listening it in our program so that we will not forget like today we were supposed to watch drama before the uh, before the the program i want you to do that maybe when you are today and then i want us to be watching pastor dada uh maybe third week of the month so that we will be familiar to his preaching too it's very necessary very necessary because he's in america you know what is going in america and he preach according to what is going on in america pastor Kumo is a global pastor he